Now, moving on to the next question, it is uh, again from uh, errors and uncertainties. The speed v of a transverse wave on a uniform string is given by the expression v equals to t l over m. And remember, this is again a formula that is not part of our syllabus. And examiner is supposed to give you a formula that you are not familiar with. So he wants to see that can you deal with a new formula or not. He is saying where t is the tension, l is the length, m is a mass. Why is doing that? So you know which quantity is what. An experiment is performed to determine the speed v of the wavelength and measurement are shown over here. Tim, tim, tim. Now, state an appropriate instrument to measure the length l. What instrument should we use to measure 126 centimeters? A measuring tape. Or like a meter rule? Uh, a two meter rule if you have one in the lab. Oh, yes. yes. Okay, because a meter rule will be still 100 centimeters. This is 126 yes. centimeters, so you can use measuring tape. Or two meter or Okay, it is not two meter rods. It is a single rod, which is two meter long. We call it two meter rod. Use data to calculate B. And that is very simple. He still give you two marks. All you have to do is just put these values over there. But you are given two marks instead of one because you have to do some conversion. You cannot put centimeters into a formula. You cannot put grams into a formula as well. So what you need to do is you have to convert grams to kilogram because SI base unit of mass is kilogram. And centimeter should be converted to meter. Then put them back into the formula and see what you get. So, tension is 1.8. Length is 126 centimeters, 126 centimeter. So instead of writing centi, I wrote 10 to the power minus two divided by mass, which is 5.1 into 10 to the power minus three kilograms. So now let's put everything into a calculator and see what happens. 1.8 multiply by 1.26 divided by 0 0.0051 and then find square root of this thing. I get 21.088. 21.088. I, I know that these are too many significant figures. I will not be writing them down over here for the examiner to see. Over here, I will write 21 meter per second. But for the next parts, I need, I might need this one. So uh, to keep it as a record, I will note it down because to find exact number of same figures or exact answer with its uncertainty, I might need some extra decimal places. So Sir? always note down some extra significant figures. Yes, please. Um, the least number of significant figure in this question is one significant figure in the percentage and certain. Oh, the percentage, like percentage same figures and uh, they, they never count. They can be more than one same figures or less than seven, one same figure. That is absolute uncertain, uncertainty that should always be in one significant figure. Uh, no, I actually meant that in uh, in writing the answer for um, this part, uh, instead of two significant figures, shouldn't it be one because that's the least number of significant figure in the question? Yes, yes. Very good question. Uh, nope. Uh, actually, that should be seen from the quantities, not their errors. Oh, the quantities okay. are given in two same figures, three same figures, and two same figures. So least, least significant figures are two your answer should be at least two or more than that. So it can be two cent figures or three cent figures or examiner does not penalize you 
for putting some extra season triggers. Uh, not for these kind of questions, but in he's lenient for more figures, but not like you, you cannot put your answer in one significant. If you write 20, then you will definitely lose one mark. Okay. Uh, sir, one more thing. If they had asked uh, in the question for another like uncertainty, we would write it in one significant figure because that's in the question. Absolute uncertain uncertainties will always be in one significant figure. Examiner will provide them in one significant figure and you have to provide your answers in one significant figure as well every time i'm asking for the percentage uncertainty the five percent one percent and two percent written if they would ask yes. for like another percentage uncertainty in the question and you get for example you get 12 percent, then you will write it 12 percent. you will not round it off to 10 percent for one single figure you will give your answer in two single figures percentage but uncertainty the, is not necessarily like if for example if you get 2.5 Yes. That is two cent figure. So you will provide it with two significant figures. The, this rule of one cent figure does not apply on percentage error. Um, uh, oh, so basically we will uh, like, uh, basically just normally significant figure ka rule lagate, to usi ko hum us par bhi wahi rule lagayenge. Am I right? No, no, no. Percentage pe nahi aisa lagta. So percentage for whatever it will be we will go like uh, we will do questions where the percentage uncertainty will come 2.5 we will not round it off to three so basically the answer that we get we're just gonna write it like that without yes. caring for the significance yes. yes okay okay thank okay. you so uh, like but remember if you get percentage uncertainty like uh 1.3333333 then how many same figures you can round it off to two same figures then. okay but that only applies for percentage uncertainty absolute uncertainty is, is always rounded off to one significant figure okay. and that we will be uh, we are about to do over here use your answer and the data in figure 1.1 to determine the value of b with its absolute uncertainty uncertainty to an appropriate number of significant figure okay now we basically have to add this this and this but there is one more catch everything has a square root on it so it means everything has a power of one over two so it will be Percentage uncertainty of B equals to one over two times. We can multiply one over two with everything individually, or we can multiply one over two to the sum of all their percentage uncertainties. So the percentage uncertainty will be 4%. It means the answer that we calculated to 1.088 has a 4% error. But this 4% is not absolute uncertainty. We have to convert into four absolute uncertainty and that is not difficult. All we need to do is we have to find 4% of the number calculated. So what is the 4% of this number? Let's bring the calculator. Okay, we luckily have that answer saved on the screen. We multiply it with four and divide by 100. So we multiply 0. That is 0 0.8435. So I will write it like 21.088 plus minus 0 0.8. Now let's consider this is my raw answer. I'm not not giving this answer to examiner. This is my raw answer. How should I convert it into the answer that I should present to the examiner? First, 
round off your absolute error to one sig significant figure, which will make it 0 0.8. Now, this will let you know what should be the position where you are supposed to round off the quantity. Now, this is one decimal place. This one cent figure is in one decimal place. That means I have to round this question, this value to one decimal place as well, which will be this position. So this is where I am supposed to round it up. I'm talking about this position. So it will be 21.1. So there, yes, sir. Sir. yes. Um, uh, how did you reduce that we're gonna round it off to one decimal place? Good question. First of all, we always round off the like uncertainty to one significant figure. Okay, that one figure in the in the uncertainty will have definitely have a decimal position as well. It can be the first decimal position, or it could be zero point zero eight or zero point zero zero eight. Okay. Yes, sir. We are supposed to round off the quantity to the same decimal position. Its decimal position is 0 0.8, like that is one decimal position or one decimal place. We are supposed to round off the quantity to one decimal place. Okay. Okay, sir. This is this is this is a good chance that we can do some practice for this thing, and this will become easy for you. Let's see. If I have a quantity. That is, uh, I, I calculate using a formula and calculator and everything, and I get an answer which is uh, one seven nine plus minus zero point zero two three one four. How will you write down your final answer? Just this is my my calculator answer. Calculator, I calculated the quantity, it was 1.23179, and my error was the absolute error was 0 0.02314. First of all, go and round off the uncertainty. It will become, and what is the rule? How many significant figures should be there in the uncertainty? There should only be one, one significant seven. figure. Okay. It will become 0 0.02. Do you understand this? Yes, sir. Now, this tells me where should I round off my quantity. And if you do not, if you do not, what you can do is you can write that formula, write that error over here with and you can do it in your mind actually. So what I'm writing with the red color now is only happening in your mind. Now, tell me when you will be adding or subtracting, what will be the last number that will be involved with your error? Or that can be added or subtracted to that. So this is where you should supposed to round off your quantity. So this red thing only happened in your head. So now you know that I, you have to round it off to 1.23. Okay, quickly, let's do one more practice. 79.89934 plus minus 1.7932. Okay, how will you so, round off this one? Um, the, the uncertainty would be 1.8 and mm -hmm. the, and the, the 
value, the measurement value would be um, uh, eight. No, wait a second. Um, actually, actually, you, yes. you got it wrong. Listen, listen. Okay. One point eight is too significant figure. Error must be rounded off to one significant figure. Oh yes, yes, yes. So it will be um, two. Yes. Good. It will be two. Yes. It will be two. Now we yes. have come to the other side of the decimal point. We have come to units. Listen, two is not one decimal place. Two is not two decimal place. If we write two, mathematical position of two is units. Go to the quantity and find out where is the where are the units. Which number uh, is representing units? Uh, the nine, like the nine that is right to the seven. Good. So this is you are supposed to round it off. So the next number to nine is it more than five or less than five? More than five, so so it will, it will be eighty. So this will be the round of answer for this one. Okay. Yes. One more. Yes. Round of this one to the appropriate number of figures. Um, the uncertainty would be eight, uh, like eight hundred point zero zero. So eight. Oh, oh, oh. point zero zero will make five significant figures. Just eight hundred. Oh yes, yes. The zeros yes. on the right hand side are not significant unless you don't put a decimal and then put a zero. Then all of the zeros become significant. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, not. Okay. Now this will let you know where you should be rounding off your quantity. So eight hundred. So it will be seven nine seven ninety three and seven ninety three thousand. No. Mm -hmm. It will be rounded off to hundreds. Listen, the single significant figure that you have, what is the decimal position of this one? Thousand. Hundred? Sorry, hundred. Sorry, hundred, hundred. Yes, sorry. So you're supposed to round off the quantity to the hundreds. Okay? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, oh. I hope you understand. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll do some uh, extra uh, practice and you will understand that and I, I will share some questions for you. You can do them after the class and uh, they will help you to understand this thing better. So final answer would be 21.1 plus minus 0 0.8. Okay. Allah Hafiz.